Yo, what is up guys? For today, I'm bringing you Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be talking about the TWAB that just came out. Now, I have not read the TWAB, not fully yet, but I ended up scroll scrolling through most of it and saw a few things that I was just like, yo, like, really? Like, really? Like, really? Like, so... <laughs> let's get right into it i'm not gonna read the whole thing well i am obviously but like i'm gonna skip all this this is trials of the of trials of osiris and i mean we already know this is out i mean i still haven't made a video on it but i might make one if you guys ask for or i don't know we'll see so subclass changes this is actually what i started giggling at because like i saw a few things and i was just like what the fuck so with the return of trials and a new season on its way we're planning to shake things up with some changes to your guardian abilities and uh, okay so any guardians it doesn't matter so warlock melee melee warlocks have long been at a disadvantage in melee fights because it takes them slightly longer than titans and hunters to recover from making a melee attack so next season we're extending the warlocks basic melee range by one meter to a total of 5.5 meters Warlocks will still melee slightly slower than the other classes, but they'll now have a one meter advantage if you can use it. this window to land the first melee attack in a slap fight. You'll likely emerge victorious. We feel this is a more interesting solution to melee disparity than homogenizing all the me I think this is a stupid change. Uh, just homogenize it. Like, why the f why wouldn't you? Like, just make it equal flat out. This is probably just gonna make people more angry. Like, I don't know if you guys realize, but in D1, their melees were fucking stupid. Like, the range-wise was just retarded. So now it's just getting even worse. Like, I just make the basic melee just as fast as the other ones. I don't know why that would be so hard. Like, who, who in this, who in Bungie is like just so opposed to this warlock melee to be the same as everyone else? Who is opposed to this? Like, what the, f whatever. I'm not a warlock, so it doesn't really piss me off. But I know it's gonna piss a few people off. So, this is the one where I started laughing. I was just like, what the fuck? Are you serious? So, Titan Barricade. The Titan Barricade is incredible, incredibly powerful in Trials because you can use it to safely resurrect your fallen teammates. Next season, we're creating counters to the Barricade while also raising its health from 500 to 600. Okay. Barricades will now take extra damage from special ammo be weapons, anti-barrier weapons, and certain heavies. This change makes Barricades sturdier while giving opposing players the option to use their special ammo to bring down the Barricade more quickly. Mm -hmm. The following weapons dam uh, the following weapons now do 30% extra damage to the barricades. Snipers, grenades, grenade launchers, linear fusion rifles, machine guns, trace rifles, and anti-barrier weapons. The following now do 60 shotguns and fusion rifles. Okay. You'll see yellow damage numbers when hitting a barricade with a counter weapon, which always feels good. So like this one right here is just mm, <sighs> this one kind of pisses me off because like bear whatever like barricades so basically like oh yeah if you want to like get access to an area that a titan has barricade you have to essentially kill heavy or special which is already just immediately like i'm already gonna have to kill that much <laughs> it's mm, i don't know man just i don't know so one shot abilities with the introduction of hunters weighted knife in season of dawn each class now has a neutral game that ability that can kill pvp opponents in one hit we've taken a pass at all of the one shot one shot abilities to tune their risk slash reward factor we'll warn you that some of these changes look extreme on paper but we made a point to make sure these abilities retain their overall feel for the titans three shoulder charge abilities we reduce the auto to we reduced the auto targeting angle by 50%. That might sound like a lot, but acrobatic titans could previously auto target to make an instant 90% not, or 90% 90 degree turn. We also adjust the lunge distance to 5.5 for both targeted and untargeted lunges. Oof. Targeted lunges were previously 6, oof. while untargeted lunges were previously 4.5. These changes make for a more consistent experience while lunging. Damn. We've reduced its tracking. Oh, I'm sorry. For the hunter's weighted knife, we've we've reduced its tracking significantly and created new tracking tech that will make the knife more faithful to its initial throw trajectory. I'm okay with this one. The only issue I have with it is that, like hunters, like it's immediate. Like, oh yeah, you have to like throw the headshot. And I know 
hopefully it's not as crazy as before because i have seen some like bonkers ass shit with the with the weighted knife but i hope that you can still like throw it like i don't know it's really hard to explain i like the weighted knife but uh i know a lot of people have been bitching about it because you know reasons so this is the, probably the one that i mix interest in most as for the warlock's handheld supernova we've made a number of changes to bring this ability in line with the other one shot abilities while part of the I don't know what that means. Uh, strength lies in its pairing with the controversial hold exotic gauntlets, which are also being tuned this season. Our data indicated that even without controversial hold, handheld needed to be adjusted. Here are some changes. Increased activation time by 1.6 seconds, I guess. Reduced hold time from 3.5 seconds to 2.5 seconds. That's a huge nerf to controversial controverse holds, and that's not even touching the exotic itself. Reduced range by 20%. Mm. Tightened, ho tightened her horizontal spread of bolts by 25%. That's good. Bolt explosion now does self damage. Oh, that's good. Reduced bolt explosion radius from 3 point or 3 whatever to 2.5. That's good. I mm, we'll have to play with it, but I, me personally, I think these are fine because it's tatering. This is probably the most broken fucking one hit kill in the game. Uh, obviously right next to fucking three shoulder charge abilities bro i think the weighted knife as bonky or as bonkers as it is right now is still like you still have to like genuinely aim at the head occasionally like so yeah I'm, don't get me wrong there's some outliers like the ones where like you hit them from a wall and then like from there it just goes from uh, like i've seen i've seen the videos but even still like you still have to aim for the head so you will never you will never change my mind on that so in our play testing we found that the product of these changes is an ability that is incredibly strong but now has a risk re risk reward ratio com compensate com oh my god words bro commensurate with its power after all this thing can vaporize multiple pvp opponents instantly which is fucking true there's even a bit of silver lining here the tightening of the bolts leads to more concentrated damage at range i guess improving its viability against supers to compensate for this change other elements of the middle voidwalker path are being buffed including the novo okay so we're cool which now has increased damage resistance a longer duration and reduced blink cost okay cool this shit can fucking kill you even if you're behind a wall which is why that sigh came out i think void walker is fucking stupid sometimes all right so general general subclass tuning we've made chant changes to the number of subclass paths in an effort to tighten the gameplay balance for example stormcaller top tree striker bottom and arc strider bottom have remained dominant in pvp for the multiple seasons now consistently beating out all other paths in both win rate and average efficiency these paths have also ranked among the top pve paths in terms of kill per minute if you adjusted these paths and order to bring them closer to the middle of the pack on the other end of the spectrum paths such as voidwalker bottom night stalker bottom and striker middle needed some love so we've taken steps to lift them up so like apparently we're, our good shit's getting nerfed because our bad shit's bad. <laughs> so, okay, cool, I guess. In the spirit of transparency, we take no joy in nerfing abilities and weapons and armor that we all love to use. We wish the answer to keep the game balanced and fresh was always to buff the underperforming elements. But such an, un, such an approach leads to power creep, the slow and steady increase of average power of everything in the game, which trivializes the incred incredible game loads and encounters that the other teams at Bungie work hard to create. After all, as a Destiny play, as Destiny players ourselves, we go home and play the game too, and we want to, we want the game to be as fun and and, health, and as healthy as possible. That's it from us today. We will find more details about these changes and more. The patch notes drop in early March. Oh yeah, and Hunter trip mines are sticky again. Stay sharp, Guardians. So, I, mm, I don't really give a fuck uh, about a lot of this, to be honest. This, I don't care about I don't care about any of this so basically what I'm getting at is all the one-shot abilities are getting nerfed uh, 
well, technically all, like the titans and warlocks the hunters is just getting like worked because it was bonkers so this hopefully is not a nerf but it's just kind of like yeah now you actually have to aim at the head which is no problem for me like i have always aimed at the head and maybe i've gotten a few stupid ones here and there but most of the time i'll genuinely aim at like center mass or a little bit above center mass because that's usually how i do it so this this doesn't concern me if it was like oh yeah now you can't one shot then i would have been like mm, then give us all the old one back because the old one was still good in my opinion i'm not using it in pvp but i will say i've been using bottom trees uh solar a lot more in this season than i've ever have in any season period actually ever in my opinion so i think this is a good change to pvp but i hope they really don't change it because if they do i'm never using it again uh shoulder charge i think was stupid it was nutty don't even come at me with this is facts like this shit was nutty some of the shit you would do in this game nah nah this this needed a nerf warlocks i think got lucky this is not a big nerf like this is well, I mean, to be fair, I would have fucking destroyed this shit. I fucking hate handheld supernovas. Like, it's just dumb. Especially with Controverse Hold. You can't even shot, shock them. They, they put up their fucking grenade up. That's it. Game over. Caliente. Out. Like, it's stupid. I'm saying words now. This is how fucking... Like, this, it just pisses me off. Um, the Warlock melee is stupid, too. It's like, just fucking make everyone's melee base melee just make them all the same like i don't understand because it's not like oh the titans have a slower one than all of them but it hits harder like there's no thing like that it's only the titans and the hunters that have like the same fucking melee hit and then the warlocks for some unknown space magic reason hit slower it's so it's such a stupid mm, like i don't want to come at bungie and be like you're stupid but like kind of like you're stupid because it's what's who who's the guy at at bungie who's the guy and or girl who's like no nah, like i really don't want to make warlock melees the same as the other people because like i want to make them unique it's like you guys literally fucking control space magic like how much more special do you want to be dog like i don't understand it i would love to talk to this person so i could be like so how does it feel being a fucking psychopath? Because obviously you have to be if you're condemning a whole class of I don't even know how many warlocks there are just because, oh, I want to feel special. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. This is a stupid change. It's retarded. It, mm, this, this one made me laugh. Good. The Titan Barricades does concern me a little bit, mostly because out of all the classes, they have the bonus of like okay well if you want to get in this area you have to kill special on my shield now and it's like mm, no like no man that's 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 nah that's not it chief like that's fucked up like i'm not saying take out the barricade altogether but i don't know man like that's the thing like this really just changes uh trials for me because not only does it like give you area denial but it also does damage when you like hit it like if let's say at the end i don't remember how it actually went was it in trials was it like the last person you have to like uh capture a point because if it's like that i can guarantee you i would run i would run a titan just for that situation because i would put up my barricade and then if whatever reason the dude has to kill a lot of shit just to kill my barricade and even then after he kills all his sniper shots that's it i could use a shotgun a sniper a fusion rifle a insert fucking weapon here unless he can kill me with his primary i don't know time barricades the I the idea of getting them getting more health but also everything else does more damage to their barricade is cool on paper but I don't like the idea of killing special or heavy in trials just to kill a shield, bro. Like, ah, I, I don't know. That's just me, though. Let me know what you guys think about the changes that are coming. I, I don't really care anymore. I, fuck, like, I'm okay with uh, sinking with this ship. Even though trials is coming and everyone's like, hey, but Destiny's back. And whatever, dog. 
let me know in the comments below. I'm sorry I'm negative, but I'm just not really liking the changes that B B Bungie's been saying and they want to do. It's just like, mm, just give me Destiny 3 already. Let me play that for like an hour and then let me see if I still want to be a part of this franchise or not because I'm kind of tired of having a game that is like, oh, it's really good now. And then it's like, oh, it's really shit now. I'm tired of that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Am I being overreactive? Probably. That's how I am. But let me know in the comments below what you think about the changes. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. And I will see you guys later.